All right, welcome to Drum LCK. My name is John, and today we have a special guest, a student of Joe Morello, the great Joe Morello. Please welcome Sam Ruttenberg. What's going on, dude? Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So oh, excited. Dude, thank you so much. We've been texting for the last couple months since I did that uh, review of the hinge sticks. And if you haven't yes. seen that, check that out. It's a great tool for young drummers. Thank you. It was a beautiful review. Thank you. Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. Um, so today we wanted to talk about Joe Morello's influence on you and how he kind of showed you how to use the book Stick Control and Syncopation on the drum set, <clears throat> not just on the drum pad, right? That's right, John. Um, when I was young, you know, I came up with the Stick Control book and Syncopation, which is a little bit used on the drum set, but a lot on the pad. But um, we'll start out with the Stick Control book, which was, was exclusively um, um, done on, on the drum pad. And it wasn't until I got with Joe Morello that, uh, you know, he said, uh, okay, let's do some, you know, um, drum set with, with the, um, with, with the stick control book. And I said, I said, what really, you know, I, I didn't believe it because I'm of course, like everyone else, I thought the, uh, the stick control book was, was for the pad and developing hand technique, but nothing for the drums about getting around about independence right. and, um, you know, coordination. Um, and, and jazz for great comping and also for soloing. I was yeah, going to say, ahead. you know, I, I talk to my students about these books all the time and almost every kid, you know, they learn the first page of stick control and that's like a good 28, 30 minute. If you do it the way it's written, right. It takes some time. And, and, you know, most kids are like, yeah, I feel the burn. I feel like I got better, but I don't need to keep going. I yeah. feel like in today's world where it's like instant gratification, there's like this disconnect, right? People don't aren't sticking with the book long enough to even figure out how to put it on the drum set. So That's I think right. teaching these young drummers from the start, you know, we're going to do number one on the pad and the drum set. We're going to do number yes. two on the pad and the drum set. Yes. Um, I think there's just so much to learn there. And I'm so excited for you to teach us. Thank that. you. And and besides that, I'll, after that, I'll even, I'll even show you variations between the rights and the lefts on the hands that you can use for getting around the drums that you, you never thought you could. Initially, let's start out with just a comping swing, nice and easy, but, uh, and we're gonna do number one, uh, which is right, left, right, left, but the right is gonna be, be the bass drum and the left is gonna be the snare drum. Yeah, and this is number one on like the first page of Stick That's control, right, right, right. And, and I, um, uh, uh, everybody knows that if you have the book, take a look at it. Um, you can look at, you know, take a look at it online. Um, and, and it's right, left, right, left. Um, that is the, um, on page five of the stick control book. So again, we're going to substitute the rights for the foot and the lefts for the snare drum. And instead of just playing them uh, as straight eighths, we're going to play them as swung eighths because we're playing jazz. So it's going to sound like this. Pretty easy. When you go fast, it's. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but right now, yes, it really you really can use it for for great comping. Right now, we're just going slow because I want to show you the mechanics of it. Um, then then we do it as eighth note triplets, eighth note triplets, eighth note triplets. But it's still the same pattern. So one and a two and a three and a four and a right left right left right left right left right left right left so that would be this yeah so you, you... yeah awesome so you're splitting number one between your kick and your left hand that's right yeah. very simple very slowly it's Very cool. And the, thank you. And the third way is quarter note triplets. Now, quarter note triplets, if you don't know, are every other right. eighth note triplet because two eighth note triplets equal a quarter triplet. 
So instead of one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, it's one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, and so on. Again, it's the same pattern. So bass drum, snare drum, bass drum, snare drum, bass drum, snare drum. One and ah, uh, two and ah, uh, three and ah, uh, four and ah, uh, one. So we have this. And there it is, one. And a uh, one. And a uh, three. A uh, four. And a uh, one. A uh, two. And a uh, three. A uh, four. And a uh, one. A uh, two. And a uh, three. A uh, four. And a uh, one. Uh, like that. So wow, if I yeah, could, it's yep. crazy to see that the clearly the one with the least amount of notes is by far the most oh, difficult. By far the hardest when you, playing le and playing less is much harder. So if I do them both, uh, the idea is to do it all together. So you're going again first with the eighth notes, uh, straight eighth notes that are swung, then the um, the um, eighth notes that are um, uh, triplets, and then the quarter triplets, and two bars of each. That's the exercise, two bars of each. So we're gonna go like this. Next one is um, doubles. Um, number three, starting with right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. So that's bass drum, bass drum, snare drum, snare drum. So again, right's bass drum, left's snare drum. So if we're playing uh, swung eighth notes, we have this. Which becomes very cool sound. That by itself is popular in yeah. blues songs, jazz, that's right. everything. Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. everywhere. Right, everywhere. The next one is the same pattern. I mean, uh, this is where it gets confusing. It's the same pattern. It's just that I'm playing a different rhythm. I'm playing a trip. Uh, we have uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, right, right, left, left, 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 right, right, left, left. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. So it becomes one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Which becomes... So here's the third element, the, okay. the, the triplet, um, uh, the, the, the uh, a quarter note triplet. So one and two and, and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. So if I put them all together, I have this. Honestly, anybody who's uh, watching this and, you know, we're talking really in jazz context, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever pattern you pay, play on the ride cymbal doesn't need to be that jazz pattern. It could be any pattern you pick, really. It could That's be right. any funky, like, da-da-da, 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 whatever you want. One, yeah. and two, and you could straighten it out, you know? Right. The best thing is be being able to uh, uh, elaborate on what, you've, what you're learning right now. I used to, when I, when I had my lessons with Joe Morello, he would give me something, and the next week I would have a little uh, variation on it. And he really liked that, and that, I, that actually gave him the idea to help, you know, to ask me to help him write, write his, his Master Studies 2 book. Absolutely. Because... I, I was uh, I was coming out with these new ideas, and he said, "Oh, that's that's a great idea. Yeah, you know, I'm writing a book. I, I'd like you to help me." Um, so, what an honor! 
what an honor. So you, you, I, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's the best thing to uh, just settle in um, on, you know, getting as much information as you can from, from this guy, this guy, this video, that video, try and create your own thing as well. Yeah. You got to learn to be yourself. Right. Uh, that's so important.